This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension-free. And the missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. We're going to start as usual with our wrist and elbow movement. Wrist is following. Uh, the melody pattern, right or left, and the elbow moving to the next position on the circle node. And I must say that those circle nodes are real life saving here because those who play this etude, they know that so much tension here, and that comes from uh, not um, from keeping unhealthy angle in your wrist while playing, and unhealthy. Angle happens when the elbow is not really moving and you play something like this instead of like this. So let's get started. Keep your hand absolutely relaxed. <laughs> All healthy tension in muscles of your fingers and fingertips will come with your sound imagination if you do it, with your internal singing when you do it. So for now, just movements. Oh yeah, I want to reply, someone commented on my um, tutorial of the seated um, some months ago that I, when I play, I, skim, I, I simply skip. Like this, I play ghost intervals in my right hand, which is not true, but I hope you know that. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Don't be afraid to take more time on your circle nose. 
when you need to move your elbow to feel comfortable to make any jerking fast and comfortable movements and again I can talk about playing because honestly I'm not imagining anything in this tutorial and I'm also not into dancing just make movements just boring level of movements <laughs> okay now let's add information Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. And this is where our simple legato comes from. Huh? Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. And again, just like I um, explained five minutes ago about the first etiv, uh, phrasing here is very 
very very helpful <laughs> because this uh, knee tube is for right hand stamina and it's very easy to get stiff in hand while playing to accumulate a lot of uh, unhealthy tension so as usual I'll just explain that when you make the blocks whether it's motifs as you can see the small slurs whether it's phrases as you can see bigger slurs or sentence two big slurs in any of this block we always have some kind of energetic inten intense intense pattern can I say that way meaning that in the beginning of every block we would back off and towards the end we would bring more towards the main interval in the motif or the main motif in the phrase or the main phrase in the sentence and that will create these waves of tension release tension release and eventually that will bring healthy breathing to muscles of our hands let's go so let's start with motive i will stop after every motive a little bit to the last interval in this motif, to the first beat in the bar. see a red small short line is gonna be our main motive Sometimes it takes some time to, to grasp <laughs> the whole structure of the phrasing. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music, it's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece. And if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful. Not just faster, but lively and exciting. Not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. I think again I'm gonna post it by crochets or quarters. <clears throat> and let's start with slow tempo, merge it together with our image. And feel it as a motion. Okay, so this is gonna be chill and quite sad. Faster. 
that's about it. Let's move to the next detail.